Hello my dears, this is Sarah from SheHoldsDaily.com and today I want to show you how to paint a brass chandelier to look like it's raw wood. Now this technique can be used on anything. It actually looks really good on wood because you get the natural wood grains. But I'm going to show you how to do it on metal because I think that's kind of a more difficult way so anything less than that anything different than that with more texture is going to look even better all right I've had this chandelier this brass chandelier it's very heavy I've had it for 11 years so since we gutted the house and started redoing it my husband picked it out he still really likes it and he's kind of sad that I'm changing it but he's letting me do it because he's so nice and I am going to change it to raw wood and then I want to add a bunch of crystals and I actually am going to adhere them in a way that you will not believe. So if your chandelier or whatever you're painting is already attached electrically, you're going to turn off the power like we did. We're going to turn off the power and then we're going to take down the chandelier. Anything that is going to be showing in the end needs to be taken down. So I have the chandelier and then I have a little setup with the different rings and plates and things that will be seen when it's all attached again. Okay, this is the painting part of it is not hard, but there are some key things though that I want you to know about. I've tried about 10 different techniques and this is my favorite to date, so I wanna pass it on to you. You are going to, first of all, spray it with a Rust-Oleum it's a paint and primer combination. Love this product. It's a tan color. You don't want it too yellow. You don't want it too pink. So the paint I like is Rust-Oleum 2X and it has a paint and primer. I love this product. I got it in satin and the color Nutmeg. It's the first layer that I put on the chandelier. And if you're doing a chandelier this size like I have, I do suggest getting two cans of that first color. I ran out at the very end and had to run to Home Depot. Two cans if you have an eight arm chandelier. You don't have to prep it or anything. I did wipe it down and I did tape off parts that I didn't want to be painted. But once you're done with that, you're ready for that process. So paint everything. It dries in like 15 minutes. And then step two is going to be to come back with a oil rubbed bronze, same product, Rust-Oleum paint and primer combination, oil rubbed bronze. Now the trick with this is you barely want to get it on your product, okay? So you are going to actually use the overspray of this product. You don't want to actually spray directly onto it like you did with the first step. So you start spraying off of the product, off of the chandelier in this case, you start spraying just into the air and then you sweep across it and let the dust settle on it, okay? Just a tiny sprinkling of this dark brown, blacky brown color. It's a little bit tricky with something this intricate, so I, I'm gonna to have to come from several angles. Okay, the third step is to do what is called dry brushing. So I'm just gonna take some basic white chalk paint, whatever paint you have, white, and I'm gonna put a little bit into a paper plate and then I take my paintbrush and I barely touch it into the paint. I just wanna hit the very tips of each little tiny bristle and then I'm even gonna like kind of dab it off on a paper towel because you do not want clumps at all. You just want the lightest, smallest amount of paint on those little tips of the bristles. And then you just start in this cross hatching pattern or you just make X's and you do this all over until you run out of paint and then you dip it again, brush it off, do this little texturizing step, okay? And then it looks a little bit like there might be too much white on it at that point, but it's okay. We're gonna come back and we're gonna darken those white little streaks up. Okay, the last steps are just to apply different waxes. And if you do not have, I would say, the clear coat or the white on hand, you could actually skip those parts. I don't know that you need to spend the money for that, but definitely a dark wax would be good. So I like to wear a rubber glove on my right hand, and I actually have a new brush called Sif, S-I-F-F, -F, that's supposed to be amazing with waxes, so I'm, I'm excited to try that out. But I am going to um, do my 
my dark wax. I love Annie Sloan. And just uh, do a layer of dark wax and buff it in all over the piece. So that is that process. And then the last part I'm gonna do, once we reattach this, I got some crystals off of Amazon that I really like. And I am going to attach the big teardrop ones, one on each of the arms of the tips, one around that main section, and then I think I'm gonna droop some little crystal garland all the way around one time. And for attaching them to the actual chandelier, all you need is hot glue. I know that sounds crazy, but I have lots of friends that do this. And I think the reason why you can get away with something that sounds so cheap is that you're not actually touching the light. So um, anything that you're not touching on the wall or hanging you know, on a light or whatever can actually be a little bit lower budget, I have found, because you're not touching it. So I hope you got some inspiration there and if you need more DIY projects and paint techniques and things, check out my subscriber library. I've got a link in the description below. You get a password for that and get all of my tutorials and printables all kind of right, the printable ones anyway, not all the tutorials, but all of them in a really um, succinct place for you. So I um, hope you enjoy that. And if you're new here, please consider hitting that subscribe button. I do post regularly and I share my professional design advice for the DIY home life. All right, take care and I'll talk to you soon.